Oops. Ah, see, already messed up. <laughs> the fails. Hello, my name is Fen Stan, and welcome back to episode three of our Starbound series. Last time we left off with this mysterious teleporter. So let's go through it. There we go. <laughs> Yay, we made it to the outpost, which is pretty cool. We still have to find the, the source of the mysterious messages. Who was behind him? We will find out. But yeah, this is the outpost. You got some cool things. You got the one that's being all weird over there. There we go. Uh, Vinny Express, which sells some random little trinkets and whatnot. So it's good. You got all these little people. There's also all the storage, but you can't really use any of it. <laughs> Lots of people. And more and more stuff of this will uh, open up for us, which will be really cool. But uh, actually, we're going to just go straight over to the... Oh, we saw someone just teleport in on this teleporter. And here's the bookmark. Let's go... Uh, I'm just going to name it the this. That sounds good. Perfect. So now from here, we can actually go to right to the Ark, which is where we're supposed to be going next. But we can also go back to our ship. If we so choose. Uh, but yeah, let's go back down to the outpost. All right. Anyways, <laughs> uh, we'll continue on. Uh, we'll, there's some quests back there. We'll pick them up in a little bit. I just want to show you how you get over to this other teleporter. It's like how the music kind of like it's only around the outpost. When you leave it, it kind of goes into something more serious. Yeah, we got these cool little glyphs. What does it mean? We have no idea. Almost looks like, yeah, it's a giant statue. Oh, oh, we found her. <laughs> My bad. I ran right into her. Hello, dear. <laughs> this is a mad manipulator you're carrying. Excellent. So you're the protector. I'm sorry to say, perhaps the last after the, the terrible destruction of Earth. Sadly inevitable that we should meet now. My name is Esther Bright, retired Grand Protector. Where do we get one of those protector chairs? Those are awesome. Uh, I left some years ago and an impossible decision, but my research could not be neglected. I discovered things long forgotten that weigh heavy on the present. Oh, that music. Long ago, there was a force known as the Cultivator. It maintained balance in the universe. Now we can see what those glyphs are. Under its influence, harmony reigned. So it was for animals. But this tranquility proved finite. A being arose, one of hate and destruction. It was the ruin. The ruin could not abide life in any form and reaped destruction upon the universe. It fought to blot out all life and would have succeeded but for the sacrifice of the cultivator. The cultivator rose against the ruin and succeeded in sealing it away. It's a cool little glyph. But in doing so, the cultivator exhausted its power completely. Before its last energies dissipated, the cultivator gifted six chosen races with precious artifacts. These six artifacts, when united, form the key that opens the gate to the ruin. The defenses are crumbling. We must unite the artifacts, breach the ruin, and truly destroy it. And <laughs> she looks all happy about it. That's awesome. This is a lot to take in, dear, and a huge request to make of you. But I would like your help. Of course, because we're the last protector, right? Well, besides her. The artifacts are scattered across the stars. I can't find them alone. We must find them and eradicate the ruin before other planets go the way of the Earth. That's no moon. Oh, then we actually get to talk to her. Okay. <laughs> Yay, quest completed. Sweet. We got a first thing first. Uh, need to find a ship in good working order. And so we have to... Okay. <laughs> we have to repair our ship, of course. There's not a whole lot we can do with it. And you can see the other glyphs over here. I guess we can actually look at him. His face is a little bit different. I'm 
almost because I got creeper. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> let's uh, let's go. Um, actually, it's probably faster if we just. I'm gonna be up and be back down. And there we go. All right, so now we need to go over to Pete, Penguin Pete. And we talk to him. <laughs> Repair the ship, but it's going to take 20 Urkeus crystals. Yep, so we got to get turned 20 Urkeus crystals now. Mission obtained. I received the coordinates for the Urkeus mining facility. That's where we need to go next. Um, but before we go there, uh, there is a few things I would like to do. And that is, talk to this guy. Uh, I've been developing technology that will enable the user to swiftly dash from one point to another, but I'm lacking a few crucial components for my prototype. Could you help me by bringing me 10 copper bars? Uh, yeah. Uh, which means we need to get copper bars. And, spoiler alert, we're gonna need all the other fours. Oops. That was not... <laughs> let's just drop all the way down. It's fine. Uh, let's, let's actually go see, if we, see how many ores we can make. And by doing that, we need to actually make an inventor stable, which we need some timber. Uh, let's make, uh, I don't know, 20 of these, sure. All done. Inventor stable. So the inventor stable, once it's done here, it's what we use to make other crafting tables. Uh, inventory. Oh, wait, we also got a bag, reward bag from the, from Esther. Hey, manipulated module, sweet. Uh, anyways, so inventor stable. <laughs> let's go ahead and put this bad boy down, right? Uh, I guess... Actually, hold on, let me think, let me think. Right here. Perfect. Uh, while I'm thinking about it, I also would like to maybe put some dirt up here. And he's like, why Why would you be putting dirt up there? Okay, should we put it here? Perfect. <laughs> so I'd also like to start a farm here pretty soon. Uh, oh yeah, we can put some stuff away, can't we? Maybe? Mm, do we need to put anything away? Not really, we need to sell some stuff, though. Uh, so anyway, so once we're at the Hover. <laughs> Once we're at the inventor table here, we can make a few things. Uh, heal up while we do this. So we can make the forging table, anvil, primitive furnace, spinning wheel, and the wooden workbench. Uh, what we really need to do is the furnace so that we can actually have ore smelted into bars. But we're missing just a few cobblestone and a campfire, which we can make easy. Uh, so I'm going to go grab some cobblestone real quick off of the planet that we are above. And not very far away from the beam down point, cobblestone. Let's get a little extra. And while we're here, I'm also going to grab um, some other ores. And here's the last bit of copper we need. Our first underground structure. What loot do we get? Pixels. Oh. <laughs> if I don't derp it here, there we go. And uh, I got to break through here. And pixels. <laughs> Those are these really cool little. Uh, there's also these really cool world generation ores that you can just break. Let me give you some copper. Yep, another structure. Darts. Solve. Pixels. And more. Bombs. Pixels. Pixels. And more loot. More bombs. More pixels. And some bandages. And another. Ooh. Short sword. Oop. Hold on. <laughs> Didn't make sure the coast was clear before I did that. But yeah, it's a little one handed sword. One handed sword. Which is kind of cool. Alright. Anyone? Hey, and our first little bits of sand. 
which we can use to make glass, which will be, definitely be useful. And some more treasure. And this nice little pitfall trap. Pixels. Solves. Oh, what did we find down here? It's a little slime biome. Oop. And I just ran over something. <laughs> Oh, maybe I ran over some liquid. That's what it was. <laughs> it's all poisonous here. We'll come back and explore this later. Yay, regeneration. And more loot. Nice, some iron. More loot. Spears. 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 Hey, our first piece of gold. More loot. Minor manipulator module. And another one. Ooh. A little two-handed hammer, some throwing darts, and a shield. None of which I'll use. Hey, we found a little house. And some more loot. And more loot. Ooh. Broadsword. That's actually probably pretty good. Oh, this one has a cool little teleport. And just below, you can see some core fragments. And that's the last of the gold. And a diamond. And bombs. Darts. Pixels. And finally, back to the surface. Alright, so now we're back on the ship. We can actually make some stuff. Uh, what do we need? We need a campfire still. Let's make a campfire real quick. There we go. The server that my data makes is telling you so many Yeah. <laughs> we, we, we are one of the few billion people that have made a campfire. Now we can make a primitive furnace. Which takes us a second. Very good. And we should be able to put it down real quick. I'm gonna put it right back down right there. Perfect. And let's go ahead and just make all the copper bars. I'm gonna get a total of 62 of those. There we go. 11 gold bars. 54 iron bars. And 31 silver. Sweet. That's okay. Now, what I want to do with those is go back to the outpost. And now we're at the back, back to the outpost. Okay, so now we got those bars, we can actually talk to this little guy right here. Yay! Get some rewards, and he's like, okay. Uh, now we can actually test this dash technique thing. Cool. And talk to him, and we are ready. Let's go. Alright, sweet. So, now we have access to the dash technique, which you just double tap to go through things here. It's basically to teach you how to use the dash. Oops. Ah, see? Already messed up. <laughs> the fails. Very limited timer. There we go. That way. That. There we go. And we made it through that last one. Sweet. Alright, now it becomes fun. Let's go past these. If we get by those, I, I believe it just slows you down quite a bit, so you don't actually want to get slowed down by those. Oops. Ah, just like that. <laughs> Gives a little slow debuff for a second. I think we still have enough time. Ah, no. Nope. Totally not going to make it. Totally not gonna make it. Nope. We failed. Okay, let's try it again. <laughs> uh, these are so fun. There we go. Let's be patient. We have plenty of time. And made it. Last one. And we can teleport back. Perfect. Then we can go back up to this guy and finish it. Yay! And we actually have the dash technique. Um, now we're going to go ahead and go, <laughs> go get some more bars. And. Sorry, I'm just going to jump through all these because it's pretty self explanatory. We're going to do another little quest here. Alright, sweet. And this is the one for double jump. 
which is amazing. Uh, now that we have double jump, getting around places is going to be so much easier. Of course, with the dash, it's nice too, but um, it's just like that. I like it to where you can actually, uh, well, I'll show you in a second. It'll, it'll make us do it, but you can do it like any, the jump at any, any point during the, the, in the air. It's like this. Ah, I failed. <laughs> Dang it. I fear you can always, I always fear you can swim like that. You just, you just, uh, basically just hold jump. Oops. Off and then boop, and then boop, and then boop. And done. And then we got 10 more, or 10 gold bars. Sweet. And eventually, <laughs> we have one, one more of these guys to go. There we go. This one's a fun one. Hit the F key and turn into a little ball. Can't make it to this one pretty quickly. Oops. There we go. It does take energy to do too, so can't do this too quickly. There we go. Wait for the energy again. There we go. And there we go. Just like that. They give you little hints on the, all the way, but get up some speed. Open that up, and it's done. Easy cheesy. I like to give you a little tutorial on. Oh yeah, we're gonna give you this double jump and dash, and this little thing where you can morph into a ball and teach you how to do it, and forces you to do it in different ways. Very good. Yep. That should be our head tech. Sweet. And now, whenever you get tech cards, which we have four right now, we can actually upgrade these things to other things. Uh, Multi-jump is probably what we're going to go for on the lake tech, which I'll get that as soon as we get four more tech cards. Um, and then air dash is probably my favorite on uh, the, the body tech. And then Hagrid will probably get the spike sphere, because then you can actually go up on walls and stuff. It's really cool. But yeah. Sweet. We're going to grab one last quest over here. And accept that. Sweet. Basically, we have to get a teddy bear. We have to craft one. Which can take a little while to get, but we will eventually have it. And uh, let's see. What's the last thing we can do? Now that we have our upgrade sword movement, we can actually probably do the first mission. Why don't we just come over here to sail? And we go to missions. And then we have the Urkius Mining Facility. But what will we find at the Urkius Mining Facility? Find out next time. Thanks for watching.